Hi guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. That would be bad. Okay, let's get started with the video. So what I wanna share today is what I pack in my travel bags and what bags I use, I guess. I recently came back from a trip and realized I had to redo them because the ones I had were really old. And so I thought I'd make a helpful video for some of you if you need tips and tricks on how to pack your travel bag. Okay, first off, I'm gonna show you the old one, which is just terrible right now, but this is it. And the reason I'm replacing it is, I think it had, I don't know if it has mold, but it looked like kind of dirty and I probably had it for a few years, so it's time to replace it. This is the one I just purchased from Amazon and I'll link it below for you. It's actually a three pack, so it has three bags in there. You can also get them at Walmart. I think I got this first one at Walmart, but this is from Amazon. And it was really inexpensive, but the reason I like to pack in um, clear bags is so I can see everything. And um, it just makes it easier to get into stuff when you need it. So what I'm gonna do is remove everything from here and then just re distribute it into my new travel bag. I did try to get a little bit bigger one um, because I pack so much stuff that what I don't like happening is when you're on vacation and you get there and then you have to go buy more stuff. So I just packed like everything that I think I will need and it just works for me. But I'm gonna move everything out of the old bag into the new bag and kind of show you what I pack. The other two bags I'll use for like makeup bags. I also uh, pack my makeup bag separately. So this is just like shower stuff and things that I'll need, but it doesn't include any makeup at all, usually. The first little items I'm moving in there is wipies. So I like to carry my own wipes. Um, I just carry some actually in my purse as well, but um, I always buy these little Cottonelle travel wipies. Um, they're good, you can just put them in your bathroom wherever you're staying, your hotel or your Airbnb. And then I always buy makeup wipes as well because to be honest, sometimes on vacation I get really lazy and I don't like to go to sleep with any makeup on. So I just use like the wipey to take it off. Um, and I just buy like Target brand. I do buy most of this um, stuff in the travel section like at Target or Walmart. So I'm gonna put that in there. I do always purchase a razor. Um, I did have some laser hair removal done, so I don't like really have to shave a lot, but if I do, I have one ready. I definitely always take dry shampoo, and I love this one. It smells the best, so I've tried so many like travel little versions, and this one's been my favorite lately. It's the Dove. It's the Dove Refresh Care Volume and Fullness, and it just smells really good. I like my hair to smell good. Another favorite travel item I have is a baby shampoo. So the reason I pack baby shampoo is I have eyelash extensions and you can't um, put, like you can't really wash your eye makeup off. It's like difficult if you put any mascara, you have to wash it off and the baby shampoo is like the only thing that I can use so it's really helpful. I do also always pack some sort of like face mask or under eye mask just because if you're going to like really dry climates or like you don't get a good night's sleep because you're not in your own bed. You can um, use them. So these are two that I pack. I always pack cotton balls and Q-tips just because, you know, I mean, sometimes the hotels have them, but if they don't, I just don't wanna be without them. So these are the travel versions that I use. Also always pack sunscreen. Um, I wear sunscreen every single day just like in my moisturizer or whatever, but what if like I'm hiking or like I'm going out in the sun, I definitely wanna be prepared. So I purchased a little baby's SPF 50. So I don't wear like ac acrylic nails or like gel. I just wear regular nail polish. Um, so I always have these nail polish remover pads in there just, just in case my nails get chipped or something, I can remove the polish. I hate having chip nails, so I'd rather have no polish than chip nails. Next, I have this mirror. 
this like magnifying mirror just in case like I need to pluck something. I kept it in the little container or the little packaging just so uh, it won't break. Hopefully and it's, it's been really good. It hasn't broken, knock on wood. <laughs> and then I also, just in case there's not a mirror, but who wouldn't have a mirror um, in their hotel or Airbnb, but I have this like mirror. Of course, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, and dental floss. Um, I feel like I need a new dental floss, um, but these are other little must-haves and I just like dump everything in there. The next items I feel like are really important. So I have a lint brush. I have a travel lint brush. The last two times I was in super cold climate, I felt like I had static everything. Like I kept touching stuff and getting like shocked. And then my hair was like going like this all over the place. So I'm gonna pack a couple of these um, bounce, um, dryer sheets and I, I'm probably gonna put them like in a little Ziploc bag or something because I'm not gonna take this box, it's kind of big. But you can carry some like in your purse and then what I've read is just like, do you, <laughs> is weird, to do this on your hair, I'm messing up my hair, um, and then like you won't have like flyaway hair. I hope that worked. Next is like hair things, so I have a brush, I always carry rubber bands, a hair clip, some sort of oil to make my hair feel better. Of course, you need deodorant and I feel like a lotion. I don't wear a lot of lotion. I don't know why I don't, but um, when I'm traveling, if it's like a really cold climate, I definitely wear a lot of lotion. Um, but I live in Texas and I don't get that dry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but definitely some travel size deodorant and then a little lotion. And then also when I'm not too tired to wash my face, I have travel size um, face like routine stuff. So I have this little um, soap to wash my face, a little toner that I can refill whenever I need to. And then I have a little um, lotion for my face. And what I did there is when you go to the counter and buy like the full size versions, just ask them like if they have samples because you want them for your travel bag and they'll totally just give you some. Okay, next couple of items, a first aid kit just in case, I don't know, I just, I just basically saw it at Target and was like, yes, I need it for my travel bag, but I don't really think I've ever used it. Just the band-aids, like if I get wearing new shoes and I have blisters, so definitely uh, have used it for that. And then you definitely wanna take like some sort of like, um, headache medicine or some sort of medicine. Um, so I pack some Aleve and then I always have this little sample of, um, I guess it's kind of like a bronzing lotion. So I normally do go out when I'm like on vacation, I'll like go out to dinner or somewhere nice. And if I want my legs look to, to look tan or like bronze for my arms, I always have this in my travel bag, which I love the way it looks. I don't remember, this is who made this one. I think it might be NARS, I'm not sure, but you can even buy like a one from like a drugstore to get the same effect. Then I have tampons and tissue just in case. And then I always carry a shampoo and conditioner just in case like the Airbnb or hotel doesn't have any. So I just buy like any kind. The last few things, I take a bar of soap just in case there's like no body wash. Um, I wanna have a clean body. And then another important thing to pack, I feel like are these um, little shout wipes. So uh, I drop crap all over myself all the time or my husband does and so we just like, kind of use the shot wipes and get it out. So I thought that was it, but I have one more thing, which I need to get a new box for this, but I have this like little box, it's so old, but inside here, is, I have a couple of things that I use a bunch, so more, um, so I have more rubber bands in there, and then I have some scissors just in case like I go shopping and buy a new top and I need to like clip off the little tags, um, I have tweezers, I have a mini nail file, and what else do I have? Safety pins, and then I even have some nail clippers.
Okay, this is what it looks like all full and there's still a little space to put like a couple of things just in case I forgot something or need something else. Um, I can throw it in there, but I just like don't have to worry about packing this. What, what I love about having this travel bag ready is like when I'm packing, which I hate packing so much, um, I never have to worry about packing all that stuff. Like I already have it ready. It's it sits in my suitcase just waiting for me. For example, if I did like a last minute trip, um, I could probably be packed in like 40 minutes if I needed to be. So this isn't really for like um, a carry on trip. This is like a check bag trip. This is definitely something that would go in your check bag. I can do a video for like a check bag travel bag if you wanted to, but um, this is like a longer trip. You're checking your bag and you have everything that you need while you're on your trip. I hope you found this video helpful and you got some good information. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I make videos every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.